Hello, I'm Jeanette at Rustic Pathways, and today I'm chatting with Paola Ceballos, who went on our Pura Vida service program in Costa Rica. We'll be chatting with her about her experience, but also about her culinary skills. Hi, Paola. Thank you so much for talking to us. Hi, Jeanette. Thank you so much for the time. Tell us uh, a little bit about yourself. Hi, my whole family is, my whole family is Ecuadorian. I am 18. I have an older brother and I have a cat. Awesome. <laughs> What's your cat's name? My cat's name is Peter Bread. Aw, that's so cute. And what are your career aspirations? Like, what do you want to do? I want to be a chef and a restaurant owner. So let's talk about your cooking. How did you get started with it? I originally started cooking at the age of seven. I started watching the Food Network and the Cooking Channel, and I got inspired. So I started recreating the recipes and started writing them down and little by little changing things. And eventually I was able to do whole dinners by myself for like Thanksgiving and Christmas. From there on, I've been cooking almost every single day. And do you have like a favorite chef? Yes, I love Alex Bernaschelli, Rachel Ray, and Bobby Fly. Is there anyone in your family that you kind of got the love of cooking from? Yes, my mom. My mom was cooking, had been cooking since she was 12. I learned from her also. And she learned from my grandma, family teaching family. And I love the meals that you make, the pictures that you've shared with us. They're like very elaborate meals. It's not, it doesn't seem like something simple. I try my best. And have you won any kind of awards or any received any type of recognition for your cooking? Yes. In high school, I went to a culinary high school and we had a couple of different culinary competitions. I won freshman year a cooking competition in Brooklyn called USA Hungry and I won top prize. And then last summer during COVID, there was a virtual cooking competition and with, they were partnered with Goya and I won first place. Congratulations. Thank you. That's really exciting. And what's your favorite meal to cook? Recently, I've been making these chocolate chip cookies that are huge and they're stuffed with these leche. Sometimes they use white chocolate chips, sometimes they use pecans, sometimes they use dark chocolate chips, sometimes what I have. And I love making Mexican style mac and cheese. I use Mexican grama, chorizo, jalapeno, cilantro, and some tortilla chips on top to give it some extra color. <laughs> Sounds so good. Thank you. So let's talk about your trip to Costa Rica. You went on the Pura Vida service program. What was your favorite part of the whole trip? My favorite part was when we visited the farm and the and the um, one of the workers was showing us the land and the there was like a map to show the region of Costa Rica on the floor and it was divided. Each color represented a different region. And I also love seeing like the little waterfall that they had and the different vegetables that they were growing. And they had like the achiote, the fresh achiote, and they broke it open and everybody started painting each other's faces with it. And then they took us to make fresh sugar cane juice and everybody was working together in teams of six um, making the juice and we were all trying at the end. Was that the best thing that you ate in Costa Rica? My favorite meal was actually, they had like a little meal at the end of that day. We had fresh fish, we had different forms of plantains cooked, fried, mashed, and like sauteed and stewed a little bit. And then they had like hot sauce, and they had rice, and they had yuca. That sounds delicious. It really was. Well, thank you so much, Paula, for chatting with us today. Thank you so much for the opportunity. If you'd like to have a culinary experience in Costa Rica like Paola, make sure to check out our student travel programs. I'll have the link for you in the video description.